are both microcontrollers' final projects. Ours is a handwriting recognizer, so we're running a neural network on a microcontroller to recognize when people draw characters, we can print them out on the screen. And they designed this cool POV display. POV stands for Persistent Television. Um, and so we decided at the very last minute we might as well let's combine them together because you know these two are basically made for each other. And those red dots are the result we selected out of the green dots. So if you see the red dot actually match with the window very very well. And okay, so basically the Helio Watcher is an automatic sun tracking solar panel with figures out based on any use GPS and knows wherever you are in the world, whatever time it is, where the sun is located, and how it needs to position itself to get the best sunlight possible. And it also has a quadrature of light sensors for adjusting the cloud cover and shading so that it can adjust its data so it'll always be gathering the best sunlight. project is uh, Brainwave EEG Pong. So we took like the arcade game Pong from the 70s, right? And we tried to control it using our brainwaves. So we built an EEG device that measures the uh, potential differences on your scalp, and we amplify them by a factor of 1500. And from there, uh, we can figure out like how relaxed or meditative you are versus how much you're concentrating, right? And we rigged it up so that if you concentrate, the power moves down, and if you relax, the power moves up. And from there, you can just control Paul using your mind, which is really cool. Here. It's called Brain Map. It, the way it works is it's a uh, infrared measurement system for measuring the blood oxygen content across the surface of your brain. So what we've plotted here is uh, real time from uh, top of uh, Hazard's motor cortex. And the idea is that this, this type of system will be developed into the future to have like much faster acquisition time while we maintain the other benefits of an NIR system, which is now cheap, mobility, and uh, easy to construct and test. project and national competition of sustainability and build necessities game. Uh, the purpose of, of this game is to uh, teach the middle school students some basic computer science algorithm. In this game, what we're teaching is uh, the exact shortest path algorithm. Uh, we teach them uh, by letting them uh, move a bear in a map from the uh, from the, from the starting point to the destination, uh, and the map will uh, just upgrade from a very easy map to a very complicated map. And uh, the, the final map will include, uh, will include not only the shortest path concept, but also the minimum cost uh, concept. And uh, the, by now, this uh, project has been accepted by the National Science Foundation Group, and this project will be serve, uh, will be going to uh, to serve for the educational purpose in the next coming year. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure you do.